Welcome to the Kansas Truck Routing and Intelligent Permitting System, also known as KTRIPS, User Tutorial Videos. This video will cover how to order a new permit. To order a new permit, you must click the New Permit link, and KTRIPS will display two options. If you're unsure which permit you need, click I Need Help Choosing the Permit, and KTRIPS will display the Permit Wizard, which will ask you a series of questions, and based on those answers, will recommend the permit that best fits your needs. If you know which permit you need, click I Know Which Permit I Need, and KTRIPS will display the Order Permits screen. This screen will display all of your contact information information that will appear on the permit being ordered. Be sure to enter any updated contact information if it is different than what is shown here. The primary delivery method is how you would like your permit to reach you. You can choose web download to get the permit directly from your dashboard, choose fax to have the permit faxed to you, or choose email to have the permit sent to your inbox. You may enter a company reference, which is an optional field on the permit application that enables you to associate a permit to a particular job, job number, or other internal tracking. This option is not required and has been provided as a service to KTRIPS companies. If information is entered in the company reference field, you will be able to search on that information for all permits associated to that reference. Select your permit type from the drop-down list. For this example, we will be ordering an over-dimension, oversize, and or overweight permit. Once your permit has been selected, click in the field next to From, which will display a calendar. This will allow you to select the date for which you want your permit to start. Based on the type of permit, the two field will be automatically populated. From here, click the Next button to advance to the Truck and Load Information screen. This screen will allow you to select your vehicle type, commodity type, and load parameters. If you already saved a vehicle in company data, you can choose that vehicle from the Vehicle Inventory drop-down list. KTRIPS will pre-populate the known information about the vehicle into the associated fields. If you do not have any uploaded vehicles, you will need to enter this information manually. Enter the year, make, VIN, license plate number, and state for which the tractor is plated. Select the Kansas GVW and the vehicle type you are permitting from the associated fields. Commodity type and load description are required fields. Select a commodity type from the drop-down list and enter a specific load description of the load being hauled. For this example, we will use general construction equipment and excavator. You must attest either that the load is non-divisible or that hauling multiple items does not create an additional overdimension. By checking the I attest that the load is non-divisible attest statement, you are confirming that the load being hauled cannot be broken down further or disassembled as per Kansas rules. If the load is divisible, then the legally stacked option must be confirmed. The bottom section allows you to enter your load parameters, such as the length, the width, height, front and rear overhang, and loaded weight. To add your loaded weights, click Enter Weights. There is a separate video located on the login page for setting axle weights and groups. For this example, we are just going to stay at legal weight. From here, click Next to advance to the next screen. This will take you to the Enter a Route screen, where you can select your origin and destination. There are several ways to enter your origin and destination, such as by address, intersection, border crossing, latitude, longitude, road and mile marker, landmark, and crossing state road. For this permit, we will choose border crossing from the origin drop-down list and then select IH35 Kansas City. Choose border crossing from the destination drop-down list and select US 160 Mantor, Colorado. Once your origin and destination have been entered, click the Validate and Run button to generate a route. Once the map appears, you will see your origin is shown with a green O. Your route is the blue line and the destination is shown with a red D. You can click and drag the map around and you can also zoom in or out on the map by using the scroll wheel on the mouse and the plus and minus icons located in the upper left corner of the map. Each red line is a restriction based on your dimensions. To view the restrictions along the route, click the Get Restriction Information for Road radio button located above the routing map, then select the segment for which you want more information. The Restriction Information box will appear where you can see what the restriction is and why you cannot travel that particular route. You can scroll down the screen to view your load dimensions used during routing, any conditional overrides if applicable, and a route description showing your miles, the turn-by-turn -turn directions, distance, and estimated time of travel. If you have any problems with the route and would like it reviewed, click the I have a problem with the route and would like it reviewed checkbox located above the map. In the empty text field, type the route you would like to travel and the reason you are requesting an alternate route. This will send the permit application to the permit office for review. Click next 
to proceed, you'll need to attest that you've read and understand all the legal requirements for ordering a permit within KTRIPS by clicking the associated checkbox. Then click Submit to proceed to the Permit Submission Successful screen. From this screen, you can order another permit or click the Return to Dashboard link. As this permit is self-issue, you can select Pay for the Permits Now link to proceed with the payment. If the permit is not self-issue, the Pay for Permits Now link will not be available. Clicking the Pay for Permits Now link will take you to the Pay for Permits screen, where KTRIPS will have you verify your permit ID number, and then click Pay for Verified Permits. Clicking Pay for Verified Permits will display the payment information screen. From here, you'll need to select your method of payment. If you've already set up an escrow account, it will show here. Otherwise, you'll need to pay back credit card or electronic check. Select your means of payment from the Select Payment Method drop-down list and click Submit. This will take you to the LexisNexis Payment Processing page. Fill out the required information. Click Continue to proceed with the confirmation screen. Confirm everything on this screen is correct and then click Complete Payment to submit. While this is processing, make sure that you do not use your forward or back buttons on your browser. A copy of the receipt will be sent to the email address provided on the previous screen. Click the Return to KTRIPS link. The Issued Permit screen will be displayed. To view your permit, click the blue Permit Number hyperlink. This will display the permit in a PDF file for you to print or email as needed. If you previously selected your delivery method as fax or email, the permit will be sent at this time. Any routing and special instructions will be printed on the permit itself, along with your turn-by-turn -turn routing directions with distance and estimated time of travel. Thanks for watching! This concludes the KTRIPS user tutorial video on how to order a permit. Don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.